since this channel started, we talked about numerous self-improvement habits. We talked about reading. We talked about exercise. We talked about the benefits thereof. But we haven't really spoken about why all of this is important. What do you mean by that? All of these things play a very important role in your life, especially if you are seeking more than average, especially if you want more out of life than just the white picket fence, the two and a half kids and a decent house. Yeah, baby. If you aspire to become the greatest version of yourself, you need to be engaging in good habits like exercise, reading, and all of those cliche things that you'll find on YouTube, but no one has told you exactly why. Today, we're gonna to be discussing four reasons why self-improvement is extremely important for each and every one of you watching. And as a token of my gratitude for each and every one of you, I encourage you to go and join the free Discord community down below. And you're also more than welcome to grab yourself a free ebook that I've recently compiled. It is called Finding Your Purpose in Four Easy Steps and links very well with today's video topic. My name is Estian and I help you become the best version of yourself. So make sure that you are subscribed to Goals and Growth for more content like this. And as per usual, let's not waste any time with Australian. First reason why focusing on yourself is very important. It not only gives you the ability to help yourself, it gives you the capability to help those around you. A lot of people tend to focus a little too much on themselves without really bringing others into consideration. Remember what I said in previous videos. If you want to become the best version of you, you are going to need a support structure. And if you do not give back to that support structure, they are not going to give back to you. If you do not give to the universe, the universe will not give to you. It works on the same principle. So don't only use your talents and your capabilities for your own benefit. Use it to inspire others. Use it to lift others up with you because you never know when someone might play a very important role in your life. The second reason why focusing on yourself is very, very important is because it helps you to unlock your full potential. I mean, I believe that each and every one of us is put on here, put on this planet for a reason. Each and every one of us has a purpose in life, whether that's to become a teacher, whether it's that, that's to become a musician, whether that's to become a doctor or a soldier, we have a purpose on this earth. And even though it's very hard to find that purpose initially, you will eventually come across it if you keep trying. But the key word here is try a lot of people dabble in one thing dabble in another thing and they just give up completely it's going to take trial and error and a lot of experimentation to find that very purpose of yours but if you do not keep trying you'll never unlock your full potential you'll never discover your true talents and just think about it if you are 70 or 80 years old if you're lucky enough to reach that age and you sit back and you think back to today and you think to yourself if i just gave that a chance that regret and that remorse is going to be killing you every single day of your life. And I don't want any of you, and me personally, I also don't want to sit there at old age and, and say to myself, why didn't I just try? Because what do you got to lose? You've got absolutely nothing to lose. Even though it may feel so sometimes, you have nothing to lose but a bit of dignity and but a bit of ego. Is giving up a little bit of ego really that bad? if it means finding a true purpose in life. The third reason it's very important for us to focus on ourselves is because we simply need change in this society. We've fallen into social media, we've fallen into degeneracy, we've fallen into cheap and overnight tactics to get rich. And there's no more commitment, there's no more discipline, there's no more self-worth, there's no more self-respect in today's society. And by focusing on ourselves and becoming the best version of ourselves, we can change that. We can change the whole dynamic of society. If we positively influence one person, that particular person will carry it over to another and another. And it's a whole chain reaction. It starts with you, the individual, doing your best to help others, to be kind to others, to have self-respect and to show that to the rest of the world. And the rest of the world will follow in your footsteps. Now, there are some of those who will obviously stray from the path, but that is their personal choice. If you can inspire people to be better, and if you can inspire people and the society to become more moral or more clued up about their moral values, if you can help them to steer on the correct path of life, you are that much more valuable to society and you have that obligation. Lastly, we need to speak about a higher power that you believe in. Right, I don't care whether you're a Hindu, 
a Buddhist, a Christian, whatever you believe in, there is a certain higher power. And our obligation is to make that higher power proud. That higher power puts you here for a, for a reason. And if you do not do your very best, give your 100%, you are going to disappoint that higher power. And life for you is going to be very, very difficult. And I realized this as of late. I am not in this journey alone. And you will never be in this journey alone. Whatever you're aspiring to, there is a higher power looking down towards you and encouraging you. Yes, he or she or it is going to challenge you around every corner. But if you overcome each challenge, you show that higher power that you deserve it. You show the universe that you deserve it. I don't care whether you're superstitious or not, but this is what works. And this is what's proven in all successful people. They truly believe that they were backed by some sort of higher power. And they truly believe that they needed to overcome challenges in their life in order to get where they are today. And the same goes for all of us. Make sure that you share this video with friends and family if you found it inspirational. And before you click off today's video, thank you very much for watching up until here. It really does help the algorithm. And make sure you go and get yourself your free ebook. I'll see you next time.